A clarion call to avert chemical disaster in the world by the Institute of Chartered Chemists of Nigeria, ICON, in collaboration with stakeholders, including government at all levels. The Chemical Society of Nigeria, CSN, the International Chemical Organizations, Office of the National Security Advisor, as well as other relevant institutions to raise awareness about chemical safety and security, is a stitch in time that saves nine in times like this. These were experiences shared by intellectuals and cerebral resource persons in the chemical sector who built the capacity of hundreds of participants at the just concluded 14th Icon MCPD workshop held at the Amphitheater Hall of the River State University, Port Harcourt, on Wednesday, the 26th, and Thursday, the 27th of May, 2021. It had as its theme prioritizing chemical safety and security for sound management of chemicals in Nigeria, a focus on the chemical industry. Setting the tone for the event, the registrar and chief executive officer of the Institute of Chartered Chemists of Nigeria, ICON, chemist Joachim Wilford, in his welcome address, said the theme of the workshop was deliberately chosen to create awareness and assist chemical industries to understand effective audit methodologies for chemicals, to promote practices that would prevent immediate and future chemical disasters and advance the application of green chemistry in industrial processes. The capacity building event organized from time to time for our members. The event is usually combined with the induction of new members and a world of fellowship to the serving members of the ISM. It is our culture to uphold the code of, of conduct amongst chemistry professionals and the chemical industries through mandatory continuous mandate uh, training. The team for this workshop is prioritizing chemical safety and security for sound management of chemicals in Nigeria, focusing on the chemical industry. This team was deliberately chosen to create awareness and assist chemical industries understand effective audit methodologies for chemicals, promote practice that will prevent immediate and future chemical disasters, assess the impact of chemical regulations and framework in the chemical industry, and advance the application of green chemistry in industrial processes. As a chemical professional regulatory body, it is our responsibility to collaborate with the government at all levels, the Chemical Society of Nigeria, international chemical organization, and other critical stakeholders to raise awareness about chemical safety and security, to prevent chemical disasters in our country and elsewhere. While looking forward to the potential impact of the workshop, the registrar shared the progress made by the organization with members and participants present. The institute has also completed plans to establish solar offices in six geographical zones of the country. It is our prayer that various state government, most state will be selected for this to host the solar offices, will support us in our effort for the establishment of these offices. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, the Institute has introduced Chemistry Ambassador Award for individuals who have worked tirelessly and demonstrated genuine commitment towards the development of chemistry profession and the growth of the Institute in particular. In the light of this, the Institute has approved eight chemists as Chemistry Ambassador and they will be unveiled in the course of this uh, uh, MCP. Let me also inform our distinguished guests, council members, fellows, and members of the Institute, the National Authority on Technical and Biological Convention recently launched National Technical and Biological Emergency Preparedness and Response Plan. Good news together to Idol and Tennis in Nigeria. We were included in that plan. For the first time, the National Authority on Technical and uh, Biological uh, World Conventions have given us a program which was approved by the Federal Executive Council. However,
However, the chemistry profession is still struggling with identity issues and other challenges like the non impression of iron in the supply chain and management of chemicals in the country. Finally, we crave the importance of our esteemed members, fellows and sponsors. Let's continue to build the icon of our dream together. Your support in the past has always been commendable. We thank you for giving faith with the Institute. On her part, the icon president, Professor Fana Ina Abdul Rahman, in her opening remarks, regretted the sad realities of chemical-related accidents in different industries, the domestic front, and the monumental damage on societies, coupled with the use of chemicals by unscrupulous elements to inflict harm on human beings and the entire ecosystem. The theme of today's event, prioritizing chemical safety and security for sound management of chemicals in Nigeria, the focus on the chemical industry would not have come view of the certain realities that we are witnessing today. Permit me to dwell briefly on the significance of the theme of this workshop. It is a sad reality of our day that chemical-related accidents in our industries and on the domestic front have brought fundamental damages to the society. Equally regrettable is the use of our chemicals by unscrupulous elements in the society to inflict harm on fellow human beings and as well as on the environment. On a daily basis in the various part of the it has become tales of death and injuries as a result of this use of chemical reagents and all sorts of things. Therefore, it is imperative that uh, this boiling societal issue is addressed squarely. So, best to say that the theme of this workshop is, uh, is a direct response by icon to the needs of the contemporary society. Experienced resource persons are on hand to do justice in that regard. Permit me at this junction to congratulate all prospective as well as fellows and audits of the institute. As I will explain with you, I cannot but remind you of the age-long vaccine that to whom much is given, much is expected. It is enough to say that everyone is looking up to you for your expected roles towards the achievement of the mission and mandate of the institute. Once again, congratulations. That everyone is our collective responsibility. The council as well as the secretary will always be open to receive uh, members' suggestions and constructive uh, criticism. Today, we have a large number of chemists in very key positions. The number of chemists that are vice chancellors is a lot. The vice chancellors are even more, are one of them. So, these are things that we need to harness to better the lot of the chemists. Thank you very much. Uh, together, I believe that we can move this institute uh, to this Similarly, the chairman of the occasion, Honorable Barrister Victor Akonde, remarked that the time had come for chemists to place their name above any other profession as everything in human existence required chemicals. The time has come for the chemists to actually place their name above any other profession. There is nothing we eat, we drink, we inject in our body without chemical. So I give it to you that you are the source of our life. We have put our life in your hands and just do it well so that we will not die soon. The time has arrived for the chemist to go a step further to have an application so that they can receive more in terms of dishing out the knowledge of chemistry and doing the needful to make sure that our lives are protected in their hands. In the light of that, since inception, the Institute of Chartered Chemists of Nigeria was built on the bedrock of goodness, doggedness, grit, and posterity, saddled with the responsibility of regulating the teaching, learning, and the best practice of chemistry in Nigeria. 
icon has proven to be a force to be reckoned via its unique innovations and expertise in the field of chemistry. All these have been achieved due to hard work, commitment, resilience, and teamwork. Icon, in comparison to its counterparts, is on a progressive theme and is com comprised of highly skilled and competent individuals that have helped play her on the global stage. I express my gratitude, genuine gratitude to this global institute for even singling out as a honorary fellow of the institute and it has helped to further more strengthen my own adult education to the growth of the institute. So I will always indulge all of us to continue to do the needful in the field of chemistry as chemistry to me is now. Thank you for this. A doing of the chemistry profession and foremost environmentalist of international repute, Professor Oladele Osimbanjo, who was introduced as a pathfinder of many government ministries and agencies in Nigeria, in his keynote address, succinctly extrayed the theme of the workshop. As is customary with us, we introduce the keynote speaker to the house. And it is my honor to request Professor Olatele Oshibanjo to please rise to his feet as I say one or two things about him. Professor Oshibanjo, the man you are looking at, laid the foundation for what today we call the Federal Ministry of Environment. <laughs> Many of us are aware, especially the older generation, you will be aware that sometime in 1988, during the interval dumping of toxic waste at Coco in Delta State. The younger generation may not understand what I'm saying. But in 1988, an Italian company dumped toxic waste in Coco in the Delta State, which is now Delta State. Not only did Professor Shimano offer to analyze this waste, but after analyzing them, he made recommendations that led to the establishment of the Federal Environmental Protection Agency, which today is the Federal Ministry of Environment. <laughs> Can we put our hands together for you? Chemical safety is very key, even for our own health and for our own survival. In your home, you don't just buy kerosene and keep anywhere. It can catch fire. God forbid, women is there and so on and so forth. So what this has told us, chemicals remain relevant in our life, but we must understand the science and the knowledge and make sure they remain our servant, not our master, and not destroy our future. Now, ladies and gentlemen, sustainable development is going to go. What environment day is coming to buy? Think of chemical management. Thank you very much. The workshop's first technical session was spiced up with an impactful paper presentation on chemical regulations and frameworks, its impacts on the sound management of chemicals in Nigeria by Mrs. Christine Ashaolu of the National Administration Food Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC. I would like to start by saying everything around us is made of chemicals. And without chemicals, life itself would have almost been impossible. Chemicals has actually been an issue of both national and international concern. When we talk about chemicals, the first place this one comes to mind, the laboratory chemicals, the reagents. But chemicals actually is beyond what we see as related or laboratory chemicals. Everything around is made up of chemicals. Yeah, when we talk about SMC, the main objective of SNC is to be able to apply our best managerial practices to life cycle of chemicals throughout the supply chain. So you should be able to prevent the exposure of humans to your due risk of chemicals. 
So SMC ideally should start right from point of import. We've got agencies coming together to work towards effective uh, use of chemicals to foster more use of chemicals. The lead agency I'm going to be talking about is LAVDA, which is the National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control. And it's established by the 15th of 1993, as amended by the 19th of 1999, but now cited as ASCA N1 LFN 2004. It mandates this agency to regulate and control importation, exportation, manufacture, distribution, and participate, sale and use of chemicals and all other products known as regulatory and um, regulated products. The deauthorization, if you want to be imported, you want to be authorized, you want to manufacture, you want to be authorized, you want to market, you're going to be authorized. They don't actually work alone, like I've been trying to explain from other international countries. They work alongside some other agencies for effective implementation of the chemical regulation. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Office of the National Security Advisor's Office. They work in conjunction with the Office of the National Security Advisor in terms of chemicals that have security concern. So for you to be able to bring in such chemicals, you need authorization from both NAVDA and NASA. For Ministry of Environment, also there are key stakeholders when it comes to chemicals management because everything comes up from the environment and goes back into the environment. So, I need me to say that the Federal Mission of Environment and the Port Chairs and the National Government are the Chemicals Management. So, you can see the kind of framework we have when it comes to some of the Chemicals in the region. Besides those organizations mentioned, we still have a whole lot of organizations that are involved in the Chemicals Management. If you have that practice for you to be able to manufacture Chemicals in the region, then you can also go to the website to get the guidelines. We should try to link the guys in better ways than when we are around. Because we're not going to have an environment of a society and people destroy the environment because of the sun and the sun and the sun. It's B. This is the one planet we have. So we have to go green. Thank you very much for your attention. Day one of the event came to an end with the presentation of the award of appreciation to speakers and presenters at the workshop. School system, a co-educational center of learning with British and Nigerian curriculums, located at 16 Udosoro Street, Fiala Fort Uyo, Akwaibom State. Save a safe and serene learning environment, well-equipped modern science and technology, clothing and textile, as well as ICT laboratories, well-stocked library, ventilated classrooms, fine art and French studios. We also run bus shuttle services, 24-hour power supply, and parade well-trained and experienced teachers. Our standard boarding facilities are comfortable, and our hygienically prepared cuisines leave our students feeling healthy and alert. Obtain admission forms at 3,000 naira for nursery and primary schools and 5,000 naira for high school at ecobank plc fcmb plc and zenit bank plc forms are free for all our returning students entrance examination as fellows saturday 8th may and saturday 5th june 2021 at the school premises 16 odosora street ephera fort uyo akwaibom state by saturday 3rd july 2021 is scheduled for scholarship exams for inquiries call 0802 702 5262 or 0813 853 6800 or visit www Fortune Group of schools excellence through hard work Colonel Abdul Razak Kazim of the Office of the National Security Advisor took the second technical session with a paper presentation on industrial process and security audit for chemical plants, the role of security and regulatory agencies. You are the bigger body. Pharmacies are also chemical handlers. Before we get to the medication drugs, the primary material for the various drugs are what they're chemical. So in order to control them, in order to know what we have to from the parents material that they use, there's need for collaboration. So more than 80% of violent crimes and extremism in Nigeria is that kind of that the situation of The military today would never have lost personnel. Even the how many years that were fought the civil war. What we've lost in terms of personnel and equipment within this Boko Haram campaign is more than Major 
instrument, the center of gravity of the Irish problem, because actually it provides a positive value. So they came to terms with it, and they have to put control measures with it. You can never in the United Kingdom today purchase two sensitive chemicals. So once two dangerous combinations have been seen, the red flag is created. And immediately became the public person. The third technical session on day two of the workshop witnessed a paper presentation by a resource person, Dr. Inyobong Obonna, on the application of green chemistry in reducing industrial chemical security risk in chemical industries. The major driver is that of what the use of what green chemistry. However, converting from the old product to the new green product that we, that we are all desiring to is that there is a need for what everyone we want committed to what one has to do in ensuring that the processes that are done are done properly without people producing any risk. Green chemistry also called sustainable chemistry is an area of chemistry focused on one design, two the product, three the processes that minimize and eliminate use of what use and generation of hazardous substances. And when we are talking about green chemistry, we are talking about a chemistry in which all the atoms you are using to formulate your product in being one in being For instance, we produce urea. The starting point is the what? The gas. As the gas comes in, after going through the reformation and of course the harvest process, the major two products we have is what? Ammonia and what? CO2. Now, if you are stopped at having that ammonia plant, CO2 will be a major impact on the environment. Meaning, for every chemical um, industry to be formed, there must be what? A thing to What could be the product? This byproduct, what can we do with it? And that is why atoms used in the formation for the world properly touched so that there will be no what? There will be no addition impact on the world environment. And green chemistry also talks about what? The root of analysis. We reduce it. There are some chemicals that when people are so exposed to it, what happens? They get what? They get sick. Focus on what? Clarity to make sure that the environment is what? Safe. And also make sure the materials that are used are safe. The session came to an end with an interactive session which also featured questions and answers. Paper presentations on the fourth technical session was diligently taken by Dr. Doris Ogilaka, an associate professor in ectotoxiology and analytical chemistry, Department of Chemistry, an approach to the sound management of chemicals. When you are talking about uh, chemical security, if you can't track who used the chemicals, the quantity that was used, The session also came to an end with an award of appreciation to presenters. And a memorial to remember now and ever more. <laughs> Wonderful resource person on this very important occasion. Congratulations. Professor Aliu Shugaba, the Vice Chancellor, University of Meduguri, Borno State, Mr. Isa John Nkanta, 
current vice chairman CSN or SHU chapter and former National Council chairman of the Students' Chemical Society of Nigeria, SCSN, Dr. Oteva Monke Frank, current CSN vice chairman, River State chapter, and five others, including Dr. Aminu Tukoru, Chemist Timothy Shamang, Ms. Asomoga Neka Peace, Mr. Aminu Bello Dange, and Dr. Williams T. Ezekiel were listed as the Pioneer Icon Chemistry Ambassadors and unveiled to brand the Institute. On behalf of the Council uh, and the Institute of Academics of Nigeria, I present this plaque to Dr. William Ezekiel in recognition of his selfless service to chemistry and uh, to the Institute of Academics. Congratulations. Congratulations. The workshop was wrapped up with the induction and fellowship investiture. The Cradle TV show on NTA Crew had an interview with some personalities at the venue. The profession is now being improved around and what is happening is that this is the institute that regulates the practice of chemistry in Nigeria. Through this kind of gathering, more knowledge is acquired, experiences, people cross-fertilize ideas and uh, that would be something that will impact on the nation. This award means a lot to me because it's not just an ordinary award, it tells about the contribution to the growth of chemistry in Nigeria that some of us have been conversing over the years. So I consider this award to me as the face of young chemists in Nigeria. And I'm saying that the future of this country professionally belongs to young scientists and young chemists. Until we arise, we cannot fix industrialization, we cannot fix insecurity in the country. This man greatest pleasure to be awarded the ambassador of uh, ICON. Okay. To me, it's a great privilege to have had this award. It's not just getting the award, but I believe it's a call to duty and to do more for ICON. Welcome to Fortune School System, a co educational seat of learning with British and Nigerian curriculums. Located at 16 Udosoro Street, Ephara Fort Uyo, Akwaibom State. Civil are safe and serene learning environment, well equipped modern science and technology, clothing and textile, as well as ICT laboratories, well stocked library, ventilated classrooms, fine art and French studios, we also run bus shuttle services, 24 hour power supply, and parade well trained and experienced teachers. Our standard boarding facilities are comfortable, and our hygienically prepared cuisines leave our students feeling healthy and alert. Obtain admission forms at 3,000 naira for nursery and primary school and 5,000 Naira for high school at Ecobank PLC, FCMB PLC, and Zenith Bank PLC. Forms are free for all our returning students. Entrance examination as fellows, Saturday 8th May and Saturday 5th June 2021 at the school premises, 16 Odosora Street, Ephera Fort, Uyo, Akwaibom State, by Saturday 3rd July 2021 is scheduled for scholarship exams. For inquiries, call 0802-702-5262 or 0813-853-6800 or visit www.fortuneglobalschools.com. Fortune Schools, excellence through hard work.